guys, welcome back to my channel. I made it a whole week with braces. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to check out last video I posted, which was entitled, I got braces and I'm pissed. So yeah, your girl made it a whole week. Well, like 10 days or so, but no one's counting. It's all the same thing. Like that's basically a week. In my last video, I talked about getting my braces put on. It's been about 10 days. I had a lot of uh, challenges in that last video, especially with like getting my braces put on and really having to adjust to the fact that I wasn't used to seeing myself look like that. I was used to just kind of seeing my normal smile and every time I catch the mirror, like, who that? I wanted to jump back on and, and share with you guys kind of how I'm feeling now as well as mention the fact that I am seeing changes already and it is both exciting but very scary. Without further ado, let's jump on into it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content like this or if you want to follow me on my journey. Like I said before, um, I was really having kind of an emotional time getting used to the fact that um, I'm old with braces and I got, you know, I got, I feel some kind of way. They're starting to grow on me a lot, which is a good thing. And um, I'm excited about because it's going to be a long journey. My braces treatment is 16 to 20 months, which that last video explains why I don't know the exact number. 16 to 20 months, but um, you know, they're starting to grow on me. I have the clear ceramic cosmetic braces, um, which I will show you guys again in a minute but it's really starting to not feel so weird. Um, they are also are starting to feel better, which is a good thing. And I will say, I've been a week now and not one person has pointed it out. So I don't know if they're just being nice or if they really legit didn't realize that I now have braces on my teeth. I wanna do a whole entire video about overcoming self-consciousness with regard to adult braces for us older folk who you know may have like professional jobs and may think like you know braces are more for you know younger people who are still like transitioning into adulthood it's not really that it's really for everybody and if you want to fix your smile that's what you need to do if that's what you need to feel better about yourself and grow as a person then that's what you need to do video coming soon on that why don't i just go ahead and show y'all all the stuff that i'm noticing I just want y'all to know my face is a judgment free zone, crushed and all. Thank you. All right, here's what we are working with. Where's my handy dandy pointer? Rat tail, oh, rat tail comb in the clutch. All right, here's what we're working with. This is what they look like. There we go. Okay, this is what they look like. They're sil uh, silver ligature wires I believe is the correct nurse terminology. When I say changes, uh, nothing's really happening with these guys. I, I pointed out in the last video that this tooth is a lot more crooked than I thought it was. Um, but this tooth right here, I have never had these gaps. Like, this little guy is hanging out in the middle of nowhere and he has no friends. He is not trying to, he not fucking with this tooth or this tooth. So, uh, I'm noticing that as well as, um, this tooth here is reveling out. He is just all kinds of just sideways. And I'm starting to notice these two teeth fall apart as well. So I'm not exactly sure where they're going. They are uh, moving. So all of my brackets are clear except for the one that is attached to the expander, which is silver because that device is metal. Uh, so this is what they look like. Um, they go back to the second to the last tooth, which I can't open my mouth. Well, I don't know what to show you, but there is another tooth back there that um, is my last molar. Uh, I'll show you this side too. Uh, very straightforward, right? Somebody requested to see like a very in-depth tour of my mouth, um, and I'm happy to do that for y'all. It's just a little weird. They don't look too bad. I mean, I'm getting used to them. I think next time I'll either want to try pearl or like blue ligature wires um and this is what my bottom teeth look like now my bottom teeth on their own i already had a ton of gaps like this tooth right here uh is gappy uh these teeth here probably need to be reshaped to like not only like lose a little weight oh they also need to be shaved down the top because you can see i have those ridges from having an open bite so yeah uh and then 
all of my teeth like here. My teeth are, they're very flat because of the fact that I grind my teeth. And now if anyone has a problem with this and you have an open bite, my orthodontist said that it's because the teeth, um, the teeth in the front don't sit properly, which allows the teeth in the back to rest apart from each other. And so grinding is just something that is hereditary in my family and that I can't really change. But she did say the orthodontic treatment um, so that my teeth were in a better, more proper bite would help solve some of that problem. So yeah, those are my teeth. That's what I'm noticing so far. That's exciting and scary. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared. But I know that eventually those teeth will move into place and I won't have these large, gaping canyons. That's right now, of course, y'all know that's kind of what I do. But I will say one other change that I've noticed is the fact that um, my expander is really tight and in my last video I was complaining about her not taking it out but then you know now I'm kind of reassured like okay maybe that was the smart move because um, on the right side especially like I can't get so all right so this little flossy thingy what's this thing called like cleaner cleaner I used to could get it all around I used to could very comfortably floss you know inside and get that thing in there to get stuff out but now I can't do that which is uh, kind of strange and I'm not in pain necessarily it's just kind of uncomfortable so I really hope that at the next appointment which is at the end of March she will uh, take that out for me because you know it is time as far as pain goes I didn't really like three days in was kind of back to business I didn't have to transition to a soft diet. I really didn't feel it necessary. I really just had to kind of take smaller bites and, you know, just kind of chew more slowly so I didn't hurt myself. Um, but I wasn't in a ton of pain. I popped a few ibuprofen here and there, but it wasn't anything super serious. It wasn't like my life is over. And I'm sure that varies from person to person depending on just kind of like things like your pain tolerance. Um, but for me, it wasn't horrible. Every now and again, I will say though, my lip gets caught on the brackets, which I'm looking in the viewfinder. It gets caught in the brackets, which is kind of weird. And I find myself with my lips stuck like this. So I always have to remind myself to bring my lips over my brackets so that people don't wonder why I look like that. So besides the gaps, besides the tightness in my expander, and besides the fact that... Wow, that's really it. Those are the changes I'm seeing. I go back at the end of March for my second adjustment. One other thing that I want to mention, and I can do a whole other video on kind of deciding about treatment plans because it's not just about going to a dentist and they do whatever they need to do and you have absolutely no say in it. A lot of people don't realize that you have choices when it comes to orthodontic treatment. I really kind of wish I would have considered more seriously is the Damon system. Now in my last video I talked about how they just looked really bulky um, and not so much on camera not that I can be playing games though. I talked about how they're kind of bulky but the Damon system, for those of you who don't know, um, look more like traditional metal braces, but the brackets are a lot smaller and they're self-ligating. That kind of is something I wish I would have looked more deeply into. I was just so caught up in the fact that I didn't want people to see them, which is kind of like Sandra. It's not like they're invisible. Everyone can still tell that there's shit on your teeth. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be dealing with this issue where I feel like they kind of look gray and whatnot can't really go back and change it now unless I ask her to take all the brackets off and redo them and I'm not doing that. It just kind of is what it is. The point being, very carefully consider your options and realize that clear braces are actually not really clear. As far as braces go, what other content do you want to see on my channel? I have a whole lot of videos planned out that I want to do about my experience with adult braces, but if y'all have specific requests about specific things that you want me to touch on in my experience, I am happy to do that content for you all. Again, thank you for all the people who have recently just, you know, joined my squad um, and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate y'all. So that is it for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.